Hi, this is Hector, and today we're just going to do just, just a little painting. I'm going to paint these nice little hillside landscape. And uh, yeah, before we begin, uh, let's see our brush settings. We're going to be going to be using artistic hearts, 4% size, opacity 100%. Color is going to be gold. And the one thing I'm going to do a little differently is when I choose a color, I'm just going to add it to a palette. So if you want to download the palette, it's going to be on the website. And uh, here we go. Artistic is the brush set, hearts is the brush, 4% the size, and the opacity is going to be 100%. So, you know, if you need it with the canvas, do so. I mean, I do it all the time. Just makes my stroke easier. I'm going to make a little curve like that. And you know what? It's okay if it's not 100% covered. But there you go. That's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to go back and then just kind of just get those gaps just a little bit, but I'm not going to add a whole lot of pressure because I want that texture. I want that texture to show. So there we go. And just a little more. Okay. So now we're going to go to layers because we're going to make a bunch of new layers. So let's go up there. Go tap, 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 tap. Probably going to be about four new layers. And um, I'm going to take layer one and just drag it underneath layer five. Okay. Next, we're going to go with layer four. Get a dark gold color and layer four we're going to create another hill there we go same type of brush stroke what we're going to do a little differently is underneath the first hill we're just going to just put in some lines because layer one is a little porous you can kind of see through it a little bit it's going to give us just a little bit more texture okay so what do you say we work on the sky now Let's go to layers and go to layer two. There we go. And let's get some color. Go with some light blue color. That's good. Now I'm going to add that to the palette. There we go. Size of the brush it is going to be 32%. And we're just going to be doing these nice big strokes like that. So let's go back up to layers. Tap there and it goes to layer three. Color is going to be something of a white, but closer to the blues. And size, 12%. Let's go back to color. I just forgot to put it in the palette. Okay, let's zoom in. And circular motion. So we can start painting in the clouds. So now it's important to note that you may want to zoom in and zoom out. And if something doesn't, looks like it needs just a little more. Just start dabbing it in, kind of like uh, kind of like what I'm doing. And if you have to, just go ahead and just zoom in, zoom out, uh, move it around a little bit, uh, just so it can give you kind of a different look. Okay, so let's go back to layers. Go tap layer five, tap twice to get two new layers. Tap on layer six, and now we're gonna go back to color. Gonna choose something green that uh, looks uh, pretty good, and. Um, Size, 11%. Tap in to add it to the palette. And all we're doing is just little circular motions because we're just going to make little treetops at this point. All right, let's just do one there and one over here. You know, the inspiration for this, it's in Central California. It's just this place called Paso Robles. And it has these hills and these little mushroom-looking trees that are all over the place. I mean, this will not do it justice, but that's the inspiration. So let's go to layers at the top and layer five, no, layer seven. Layer seven, accelerate green to color, add that to the palette. Let's go to the canvas, tap there, and now we're just going to do these little circular dabby sort of strokes on the left side because my light source is coming from the upper left. And let's get each, every one of those little treetops. And that one too. All right, maybe just a little more. Okay, right there. So back to layers. Tap there, tap on layer six. Color, let's tap there. And a little darker version of that green. Add to the palette. And now we're going to work on the lower right because that's our shadows. And, you know, once again, those brush strokes are going to be kind of, you know, kind of deliberate little, little dabs and... We want to encourage texture because remember, as we're doing this, as we're working underneath all this business, 
up at the very top, you know, right up here. That's where light source is coming. That's why we're working at the bottom of the trees, because that's where the shadow is. And on the surface of the tree, up at the top, we're just going to just dab it just a little bit, just to encourage texture. So now let's go back to layers and tap on layer 5, hit the plus sign for a new layer. That's layer 8. And we can add some color. This time we're going to go with a burnt orangey look and add that to the palette. So now let's go back to the canvas and brush size can be about 4%. And it's tree trunk time. Okay, we just go directly underneath all that greenery. And these trees in real life, they're not, they don't seem like they're very big. They're, they're shaped really nicely, though. Okay, looks like that'll do it. Now let's go to the next step. Let's go to layers. Let's just tap there and tap on layer five. Let's go to color. And um, uh, you know, let's, let's get a new color. Let's get a darker version of that orange, like that. And we're using the same brush. We're just going to go underneath the tree and we're going to just add just a little bit of shadow. But we're just going to be directly under the tree. And I'm just being really careful because I do want that texture and I don't want to overdo it because it's easy to overdo it. Okay, so now let's go to layers, tap there and tap on the top layer, layer seven. We're going to go to the wrench icon, tap there and go to add right there tap on copy canvas and we're going to paste because we're going to go to the curve tool go to the adjustments icon and go to curves right there now this is a bendy line left side controls the dark tones on the right side we're playing with the highlights and in the middle those are where the midtones are so this is the curve tool now that we're happy with this adjustment all we're going to do is tap on that blue icon and we're good to go. So now we're going to go to layers once again. Let's go to the top, tap there, and tap on the plus sign. Let's layer 11. And we're going to be looking for a brush. Now, let's go to recents because I used 10% battery again. Close that. And uh, we're almost done anyway. So let's go and get the qual brush. Now, I like using this brush because it's really good for accents reflections, that sort of a thing. And so I'm not using a whole lot of pressure. I'm just trying to work it in. And every now and then I just, just apply just a little bit of pressure. And so I'm tilting the pencil as I do this. And every now and then, just kind of, at just a little bit of pressure, I get these really nice highlights and lowlights. Okay, so we're going to get some color. Just go there, go to the palette and tap on that green, get a little darker version of it and add it to the palette. There you go. And go to layers. Now hit the plus sign, layer 12. Let's reduce the brush size to 5%. And now we're just going to be dabbing in on the lower right of the trees because the light source is coming from the upper left. And just dab it in. And I think after this, we have one more tree right there. Okay, let's just do that little bit up there and... Uh, just maybe up there. Somehow this part is not really working for me, so I'm going to try that. And if that doesn't work, I don't think it does. I'm just going to go up there for the eraser and just remove it. Now, the cool thing about eraser, it helps you blend in whatever you just painted in. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just having it blend in just a little bit better. So now we're going to go to color, just tap there and we're going to double tap to get pure white. And with that same 5% brush, we're just dabbing in just a little bit of white, just to give those clouds just a little bit of an accent. There we go. And a little bit on that one too. So as far as the trees go, we're just going to add just a little bit of that white right on the top. So we just want to just give it a nice little reflection point, and it's going to come in kind of hard. So we're going to do, I'm going to lower that brush just a little bit. Looks like a 4%. And we're just adding just a little bit of reflection points. And just there. And then now we're going to do the hills, just tilting my pencil just a little bit, and just, just dabbing it just a little bit, a little bit more there. And... That looks good, and just working it in a little bit there, and then a little bit more there. So now a really good blend tool to use, 
is the eraser. Just let's tap there and let's change the size to maybe 9% and very, very light brush strokes on this because all we want to do is just not make the edges so sharp so it can blend in. And a little there, there, and looks good. Maybe there. So what did we learn here? <laughs> you know that we can fidget with this thing quite a bit. And sometimes that one little spot we're trying to get rid of is just maybe a layer or two behind. So sometimes the easiest thing to do is just sample some color like this one over here. Yeah, and just paint over it. And then we just move along. All right, looks like we're almost done here. So let's get some color. Let's tap there. Let's go for that burnt orange color. Underneath the tree, we're just going to just dab it in just a little at a time. And let's just go ahead and just get the remaining four trees. The whole idea is that the light source is coming in from the upper left and this is coming down this way. Of course, on the opposite side is the darkest part of the tree. And that's what we're trying to simulate. And of course, we can go in and just start kind of like tweaking with the other parts of the tree because this is what's going to give us little shadows and highlights. Okay, now we're going to go back up to color. So tap on color and choose a darker version of that brown. Add it to the palette and brush 2%. Now I'm going to go ahead and redefine the tree trunks. Now, did you notice that I'm holding the Apple Pencil like a pencil? Because I want to get the finest, sharpest brush stroke that I possibly can. All right, now let's go to brush. And we're going to go to airbrushing. Tap there. Uh, there you go. And we're going to go with soft brush. Size is going to be at 5%. Opacity, 100. And we're still using that dark color. Hit the plus sign for a new layer. That's layer 13. And very, very light strokes on this because all we're doing is we're just brushing in the shadow. Because the light source is on the upper left and it's coming down this way. Down to 2%. And now we're getting just a little bit more exact on under those small trees. Because that brush was probably too thick for that one. So now let's go to color. And we're going to double tap on the white region that gives us pure white and add it to the palette. And just gonna be swirling in some white there. Just gonna give just a little bit of an accent just so it could just have just a little bit dimension. And a little bit more on that one, and we're good. Now, sometimes at the end of an illustration or close to it, I do a four finger tap to full screen mode and I get an idea of this is what I want. I think I have to add just a little bit more color. So four finger tap brings back all the toolbars, all that stuff. And I'm going to go to my brush, go to 12% and my color get more of a creamy color. Add that to the palette and going to add a new layer. You know, I'm going to bump that up 20%, the brush size, and I'm just going to do a random stroke like that. Okay. Let's go to layers, tap on the end and let's change the blend mode. You know, sometimes you, you it, this is kind of a shot in the dark type stuff. And you don't really know which blend mode is going to have the best effect, but I think linear burn, I think that'll do it for me. 30% opacity, tap anywhere, everything goes away. Yeah, that's, that's good. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to go back to color. And this color, that orange color, let's put on the palette. There we go. Or brush. Let's see. We're going to do that soft brush, right? Yeah. Soft brush size is going to be somewhere in the 20% or so. Opacity 100. And we're just going to darken just this corner just a little bit. And now we're going to go back to color. So let's go and just tap that. And we're going to go to blues. That blue, that light blue. But we're going to darken it just a little bit and add that to the palette. And go back to new layer. Okay, so now let's just brush that blue right on that upper right corner. 
and uh, that in itself will give it just a little bit of dimension in the sky. All right, the hills of Paso Robles. You know, I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, I did. I had a lot of fun doing this. I know it takes a little bit of time when you start kind of introducing all these textures, how we layer them, and or these subtle gradients. In real life, man, they look amazing. But when you record this, it still looks good, but not as good as in real life. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please like this. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for hanging out. Gotta go. Bye.